Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome back to another PUBG video. Today I'm going over the release of 1.0, but in more detail. We have all the info plus a bit more on depth from Nico on what exactly to expect on release. If the video is helpful, smash that like button. It is very helpful. Now, if you don't already know, most of you will, then 1.0, the full release, will be releasing in just two weeks time, September 4th. But that doesn't mean that we will stop getting updates for the game either. Along with the release, we will see War Mode, Sandhawk, Custom Games, Achievement, but also the Event Pass will be coming at the same time, which is something not mentioned, which is quite exciting. Well, if you're happy to pay for it. So let's talk first off about Sandhawk. The map is a smaller map, of course, making for quicker games and more encounters during matches. It's going to be quite different than what you're used to when playing, but you might find the quicker matches is more to your liking. The traditional PUBG maps are fun, but they can be a lot of the times, even 20 minutes or so, where there is just no action, you're just running around or looting. Not for everyone, but it does happen, and it happens both ways, whether you decide to go to some obscure place on the map, or whether you hot drop. If you survive hot dropping and you kill everyone, then there's usually that transition period between killing everyone and getting to the final circles, and I have had games where it's been around 20 minutes of doing nothing really. In Sandhawk though, that's not going to be the case. The circle moves quicker to ensure matches are speedier, along with it being half the size of traditional maps. To go with this new map comes new weapons and vehicles to boot, so a lot to look forward to. We don't know exactly what weapons and vehicles we will see and when, but there are some new ones like the QBZ. Next, let's talk about the event pass. Essentially, this is something that you pay for. You get challenges that you need to complete, which can unlock exclusive cosmetic items. So don't worry, it's not pay to win, it's cosmetic stuff only. It was discussed by Nico how this would work on Xbox and will it be different to PC. It is confirmed to be slightly different than PC and Nico said that they learned a lot from the failures of the event pass on PC which a lot of people weren't happy with and they're going to make changes plus streamline it of course for Xbox players. So it's going to be similar but it's not going to be exactly the same so I am excited to see how that will all work. War mode, team deathmatch essentially, a small area where players respawn with a parachute and weapon. The team that reaches a certain amount of kills wins first. So it's straightforward, and from what I know, it's going to be like five teams of 10, and it will be available on all maps. Achievements, I've answered this question before, but yes, all achievements are retroactive, meaning if you reach the achievement during game preview, say get 10 chicken dinners, then you don't need to complete that again during 1.0. Now, I think I'll have most achievements. We don't know exactly what they are, but if they're anything like the Steam achievements, then I've already got most done. What I do want to know is will PTS, kills, and chicken dinners count towards achievements? I'm not sure that they will, which is unfortunate because I've got quite a lot during PTS, and I'm sure you guys did too, but they do have two separate stats. Custom matches. Now, while this was mentioned as 1.0, it's not actually going to launch on September 4th. It's going to launch soon after. So we will get everything at the same time. But custom matches, despite being part of the 1.0, is not going to launch on, well, launch day. But I don't mind because we do have a new map and a new mode to play. Also, the event pass is also something that's not guaranteed to launch on September 4th, but soon after. But I guess they didn't want to overload us with things, especially as it's easy for stuff to go wrong. Something that will be launching on 1.0 though is these exclusive clothing items available to everyone who already owns the game for free. I've seen some of you ask will you need to buy a new game for 1.0 version and the answer is no if you already own the preview game you own the 1.0 game and it will upgrade to 1.0 for free and it will update just like a regular update does and it will probably be around 11 gigabytes. The cosmetic items are okay you can see them on the images here but I would prefer something more immersive. I'm never really going to wear any of this I like to blend into the background as much as possible and I prefer more military style gear as well but I do know the devs are working on more cosmetic items. A couple other things to mention that they are working on, weapon skins, and Nico said that he was excited about this and, you know, we will find out more soon. Map selection, that is something that we will see when, we don't know. It could be the 1.0 launch or it could be soon after. And also, yes, loot boxes and the whole thing with duplicate items and the whole system of console is being overhauled. So in the future, we will actually get something that's worth our time to collect BP and open loot boxes with. The one final thing to mention would be, is War Mode and Sandhawk going to come to PTS? Well, currently there's no plan for them to come to PTS, but if they find that they're having any kind of problems with it before it goes to launch on 1.0, then they will release it on PTS to make sure all the bugs are fixed before the launch day. But if they can avoid it, they're going to because they want it to release for everyone at the same time and not just for those of us who have it in early access. Guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Yesterday's vid was just one I wanted to get you guys info as soon as possible. Today we're looking in, into it in a bit more detail on what to expect September 4th. 
Let me know in the comments what you want to see next in PUBG after 1.0. For me, it will be more weapons. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, and I'll catch you guys next time with more PUBG videos. Peace out.